I cheated on my GF three years ago. We have been dating for six years in total. Should I tell her after all this time? Sorry for the title, I'm horrible at this kind of stuff. Well to start, me and my GF have been dating since college. I consider her the love of my life. Someone who I imagine spending the rest of my life with. Obviously our relationship isn't perfect but we are better off than most. Three years ago, she went on a family trip for a month. Nothing was bothering me nor was I itching to cheat on her or anything of that matter. One night, I went to a bar in the city, got a little drunk and started to chat with a female who happened to sit next to me. We ended up chatting, she bought me a cocktail as well so I was thankful but didn't think much of it. Things started to get personal and I don't know why but she started to hit on me but I liked it. I started to give in, didn't mention I was in a relationship. We ended up going to her place a couple blocks away and spent one hour there being intimate, intercourse was performed with protection. I ended up calling an Uber and went back home. I started to sober up and started to realize what I did. I tainted and ruined what was a pure and innocent relationship because of my actions that I couldn't control slash overcome. I spent the next couple of days in bed, not going to work overwhelmed with guilt. I couldn't sleep, eat, be social, nothing. When texting my GF, I tried to act like everything was fine but I couldn't have the courage to tell her what happened. I didn't want her to realize that the man she loved so dearly had betrayed her. So I kept it hidden. I went to the doctor, got tested for STDs and hep C, everything came back negative. When she came back, I acted like everything was normal. I didn't want to hurt her so I didn't say anything, which to this day, always wish I could repeat this. I needed up going to therapy for what I did and understand why I did it. Fast forward, three years later. I made a vow to give 100% my all to her, and to never cheat again. I have had cases where I was offered but after going to therapy, I was able to ignore this requests. In hindsight, we have a very healthy relationship, we moved in together. But my guilt is still there and probably will be for life as punishment which is fair. I wish I could tell her but I feel like I would be putting me before her. I would be letting off my guilt but in return, totally shatter her entire world. I have been there for her every part of the way. I am unsure what to do and that's why I come to Reddit to ask for advice. I understand what I did was horrible and I took away her power to make a choice. But what I did, was a immature mistake, something I swore off. I appreciate all comments, but please be civil. I know Reddit is unforgiving. Comment. I cannot upvote this more. She is in love with a man who doesn't exist. She has a right to decide if she loves a cheater the same. Even if she wouldn't have and they could have worked it out, Op has built actual years of their relationship, potential deepening trust where there could have been reconciliation or even repair, and continuing visions of a future on a lie that is now buried so deeply in the foundation of their relationship that telling her will probably make her question a great deal of everything he's said since. Damn, speaking to Op, you probably would have had an easier time of it if you had just told her. Now you have to tell her one, that you cheated and two, that you lied for actual years about it, implicitly or otherwise. Wish I could upvote this a thousand times. This is exactly how I felt in my last relationship. Did I cling to that idealized person in my head for a while? Sure. But I fell out of love within a few months. Hard. Thanks. I literally hate the whole it was a mistake act. My ex said the same thing when he cheated on me. How was she not in your head the entire time? It's fine to chat, but the second it gets more than that it's already cheating to me. How do you not only choose to flirt back, choose to get up, choose to leave the bar, get in her car, put your seatbelt on, drive the drive to her house, take your seatbelt off, get out of the car, go inside, go to her room, take your clothes off, and then every single act you did. It's not a mistake, it was a thousand choices you chose. Tell her and yes, she will probably break up with you. And she should. My partner is the love of my life like Op claims his is, and never once ever, ever, have I entertained someone else, there have been plenty of opportunities, nights alone, nights out at the bar, and never would anything ever happen. It's not even a thought in his mind because he knows that too. He nor I will never be in that position. The thought of my partner rings in my ears whenever I am simply hit on, and I feel guilty and tell him every time. I like how he acts as though he only learned it was wrong after it happened, and he's vowed since then to be a good boyfriend. He did it bc he's selfish and weak, 
and he'll absolutely do it again. Maybe it will be BC she was mean to him, or they've been having a rough time, or she's been busy with work, or the baby takes all of her time now, etc. Cheaters like this always cheat again, it's simply about the right opportunity presenting itself. You came here looking for guidance because you're feeling a lot of guilt. You've held this guilt for three years and it's bothering now to the point where you've come to the internet for help, I think you know what you have to do. And yes, it's going to hurt her. A lot. I get what you are saying but honestly, I don't think he should tell her now. If he told her three years ago because he thought she deserved the truth it would be one thing. But three years later just because he doesn't enjoy living with the guilt? Nah, that's selfish AF emo. The fuck up is done. If he actually worked on himself and is 1000% sure he's going to be the best, most loyal partner ever going forward, I think telling her now would do way more harm than good. But I know there are many women slash people who see that differently. A few years ago I actually asked a few friends if they wanted to know their partner got blackout drunk and cheated on them once a while back, if there isn't a chance it's going to happen again. I thought I would be the absolute minority with my way of thinking but it was actually around 50 50ths. Edit, I just reread the post and it doesn't seem like he got blackout drunk. He knew exactly what he was doing. My bad lol. Just to toss in point zero two cents on what came to my mind while reading this post and this comment. He said he went to the doctor and did an STD test quickly after his ons. I could be wrong here but don't some STDs take a while to show up on a proper test and also from what I understand, they don't even test for all of them on males unless you request to do a full panel? I think I would be nervous he accidentally gave his girlfriend something thinking he was clean at the time and then that affects her fertility down the line because she didn't get a chance to test herself. I don't know, just something is on my mind about this and wanted to share. Also, what gets me is that he cheated 3 years in. If it was 3 weeks in slash 3 months in when the relationship is fresh and new and you're not sure if this is the person you want to be with, then I can probably forgive it. I think a good bit of people might be able to look past one blip in a 6 year relationship. But 3 years in, that is an established relationship. That's verging around the time some people move in together or consider getting married. I don't think there's any coming back from that it's just not something that can be easily forgiven. And then waiting another 3 years to tell her just adds insult to injury. I hope he tells her, for her sake. Story 2. My parents don't approve of my boyfriend because he doesn't have a college degree. They want me to leave him but I really love him. What should I do? My boyfriend who's a barbershop owner doesn't have a college degree. He only has a high school diploma. School just isn't for him. He's super caring, loving, funny, logical and intelligent. He recently opened his own barbershop and is making a lot of money. I get a bit insecure that my boyfriend doesn't have a college degree despite his great traits and job because my family values education so much. I think my problem is that I seek validation from my family and my surroundings. Everyone in my family including my friends have at least a bachelor degrees except my boyfriend. I come from a traditional family that values education so much which is why my parents don't approve of him. They don't want to meet him because he doesn't have a college degree. They want me to date someone who has at least a bachelor's degree since I have a bachelor's degree in nursing. For them, they're against the fact that I date someone with no college degree since I'll be getting a master's degree too. They think a man should be as educated as a woman if not more and since I have a bachelor degrees in nursing, they want a man that has at least the same level of education as I do. But my boyfriend is so ambitious and intelligent and has so much potential. The thing is that I also value education so much but I don't think you need a bachelor degrees to be successful. It can help you have more opportunities but I don't think it determines how smart and successful a person can be. But then again, I wish my boyfriend had a college degree. It would have made everything so much easier. My parents also don't like my boyfriend's career as a barbershop owner because they think it isn't a good business and that barbers have a bad reputation. They want a man who has the same social status as me or even higher. They think I deserve someone better. For them it's not just the money it's the educational background of the person that matters. My boyfriend sees a future with me and wants to marry me. I know that my parents are acting this way because they want the best for me and they're trying to look out for me. They have nothing against my boyfriend. They just think it won't work out in the long run if we don't have the same level of education. Which is why they want me to leave him but I really love him. Comment. He owns his own business, he's not lazy nor ignorant. Just different. This is your life up yours. 
not theirs. You get to decide who is in it or not. If you love him, stand by him. You only get this one life. He has his own business and that's still not good enough? There is far too much emphasis and value put on academic achievements. You can certainly acknowledge and respect your parents' opinion, but if you make every life decision based on what mom and dad want, you're going to regret it. Even if you make mistakes, you have the right to make them. This. My parents are like this too and now that I have my own kids, two graduated from high school and one still in high school, I find this to be the most ridiculous measure of a person's value or capability to be successful. My mom is constantly asking me what my kids plan to do with their lives and makes comments about them not being in college, what a waste. They could be so smart and successful if they applied themselves. She constantly praises my stepsister's kids, stepniece and nephew, for being academic scholars and my stepniece now that she got into university, planning to go to law school. I've told my kids that as long as they are happy and good humans, can become independent and not bums trying to live at home forever, they can do whatever they want. The general rule I have is that if they aren't going to college or some type of trade school program right after high school, they need to be working full time or doing school slash work part time. And they will start paying for their phone bill, car insurance, gas, and extras like going out. I provide food slash shelter slash support as long as they are being productive, respectful, and working towards some type of life path slash independence. This is your future and your life. I understand wanting to please your parents but they sound ignorant and don't have your true best interest at heart with this attitude. Dude she's 21, not in the US, and her parents are thankfully still a part of her life. Sounds like she still lives with them. Of course they have influence on her lol. You are either sour or naive to believe she should be hammer fisting this situation. It's a toughie but she obviously cares and is getting good advice. This is not one of those. That makes it worse than since education is a financial burden in Canada, right? I did mention in my original comment how many in my region and especially generation have soured to the notion that education equals good quality of life. Plenty of trades positions are being left vacant because kids are brainwashed by their parents and social system, i.e. their culture. Their parents are doing what they think is right. Mine did the same shit. Doesn't mean they're right. My parents passed when I was about her age. Even if it's bullish and ignorant, it still comes from a sort of love that you can't replicate, and cannot replace once it's gone. I promise, nobody cares about you the way your parents do, even if it's crazy sometimes, it's because they care. It can take decades to realize, but ultimately it comes from love. It would suck to damage a parental relationship, for something that, at this age, isn't likely to work out anyway, let's be real. Maybe she does the best she can, loves who she loves, and keeps a civil relationship with the parents. Wouldn't be terrible, eh? Wow, pseudo-academics. As far as my advice, even if you don't marry this boyfriend please marry someone who is a skilled laborer slash entrepreneur because your children deserve to be steered away from your family's traditions. This is, like, how ivory towers get built. Well if you really love your BF then you can tell your family how you feel and how it's shallow AF and CLAS cyst AF to not like someone because they didn't pay thousands of dollars for an education. Really fucking weird. Is there anything else going on that would make them be prejudiced against your BF but are just saying it's because he doesn't have a degree?